this shit good, man. Wait, where's the excitement, Guru? I'll only be with you, Guru. There it is. He's really excited. Oh, hi. I'm a street to say K Dad. So I'm enjoying a nice, relaxing day today, so I'm having a cocktail with my favorite mod that. Hey, you won this for me, didn't you? Yeah. He was playing, what, ski ball and all kinds of games at the arcades up in Lake George, New York. And, and he won me the big, big guy mug. Uh, Space Invaders game. 3D Space Invaders game. So, I'm going to be enjoying this, but and you were excited because... Game where you bring the numbers up. Yes, but why are you so excited today? Uh, you you saw this video on YouTube by Chef Gordon Ramsay, right? One of our favorites, yeah. like watch him. Even though I still think I'm a better chef than Gordon. But what are we making today? Um... Well, some pork belly. We're gonna do a roasted pork belly with, with fresh belly. fennel, right? Yeah, and next I'll probably watch Bobby Flay. Oh, please no. I like Gordon so much better than Bobby. <laughs> but see, we got this beautiful pork belly here. See, I already did the the fun part. I already scored diamond. it and put the little slits in it to make the little diamonds. It's I'm already seasoned up with some salt, so that's all set to go. So let me just quick wash my hands here. Just give them a little rinse off. They touch that. We're gonna come over here to the other side and we're gonna get everything going for this. So, the beautiful camera is gonna turn the camera over this way. She's standing a step around. So she's gonna turn the camera towards me. There I am. Oh, you know what? Turn on the light, would ya? Other side, little switch, crank that up. There, do I look more beautiful now with better lighting? Okay. So, I got my favorite roasting pan here on the stove top. I got the oven set. Now, when Gordon Ramsay made this, he set his oven to 180 degrees for two and a half hours. Is the final stages. When you watch a video, what you have to understand is when he says 180 degrees, he means Celsius. Because he was making that when he was over in England. Americanize it, we have to make it to Fahrenheit. So I had to calculate it and set it to 360 degrees. So the final point is that roast pork will roast in there 360 degrees for two and a half hours. All right, so let's get started here. What do you need? You need some garlic. I got some big old elephant garlic here because you know what? I really like it, so we're just gonna slice this up. Elephant garlic's good. You like elephant garlic? If you love bite-sized onion rings, that is perfect. Get rid of that little guy. We don't need him. You know, I can hear your brother out there. He's playing PlayStation, isn't he? He's playing a little battle truck. Like, you can actually use that to make homemade garlic bread. Let's just sliced up really quick here. So you need some nice fresh garlic. Okay. Right. We're probably make tacos here on the channel. Yeah, we're gonna make tacos tomorrow. So uh, do you want us to put that video on? Do you want to see how we make the Guru's tacos? Give us a shout out. Let us know if you want us to make tacos. Or do you want us to do a video on the Guru's tacos? You made or if you give us a shout out? Or if you guys don't give us a shout out, we'll still do it anyhow. We'll still do it anyhow, probably. But we'd like to hear from you. Okay, so there's the garlic. Now, he used up every bit of the fennel in this. So, that. that's what we're going to do. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get this going. Nice high heat. Okay, so he took this. Let's see. I'm going to slice this down the middle, make it a little bit more manageable. Clocks go back. Clocks go back this weekend, that's right. And I'm trying to do it exactly like he did in the video because I want it to come out very similar. Clocks go back and we get the next hour of sleep. So here we go, we'll chop this up. So clocks go back on Sunday. Clocks go back on Sunday, that is right. Well, tonight. You turn them back tonight. You turn them mm -hmm. back tonight. And we all do it all together. Like normal people. I don't know if I'm going to need that other 
this panel? What do you think there, uh, beautiful camo lady? Do you think I should cap up the other one? You think that's enough panel? Uh, I think it's enough. I we can save that other panel and roast it. Tomorrow or something. Yeah, we, we gotta roast the panel. Alright, because there's plenty of room in that pan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other one. Let's do the other one. Is we gonna roast the panel? Don't worry, you're gonna wind it all with this, Goo. It's like, um, if you want this panel, you know, there's a, you know there's a panel slicer, right? There is, where? On the uh, Crazy Russian Hacker. He's got a one through fennel? Yeah. No way. Well, let's see if we can find that. Because if we really like this dish, we're going to want that. So I get this all chopped up. Got that pan heating up really nice. You can feel it heating up next to me. All right, there's all the fennel chopped up. Give it at that. Give it at that. It. So, we're going to get this all into here. Get that dropped in. You're going to take that beautiful pork bell and you're going to lay it down with the skin side down. Okay? Then, we're going to add in some bay leaves. Let it start to go. We're going to pour in some white wine. We got a nice white wine here. Then we'll flip the pork belly over. Let the alcohol cook off. Then we'll add in some chicken stock. So just to the bottom of that skin, we're going to come to a boil, and then we're going to slide in. So let's see what we got going here, that beautiful pork belly. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Guru? Yes. Okay. He's excited. I'm excited. Are you excited, folks? Yeah, I think you are. Wait, I can't wait to eat my new package. Was it on the days when I'm... Yes, days when he's Zooming for school, for virtual... He can zoom now because he ordered himself some 10 foot long charging cables for his devices. So that's wicked cool. Oh, speaking of which, his grandmother just walked in the door. She picked up the mail for us. She's got his 10 foot charging cables. Here, let's take the package. We'll open it while we're waiting for that pan to heat up, everybody. And with like, my father so didn't have one. So Amazon, one of his... Uh, so that way my dad will have one. Oh, I think that pan is just about ready. I can see it smoking a little bit, so let's get this quickly. My dad can have one, too. I can have one? Oh, you are the best son ever. Wait, wait, just so, so here it is. an extra one from the car. Yes, yeah, so you guys get to see not only that, but you get to see his new things. I mean, this thing is... Wow! That's long. That is long. Look at that thing. Now I get to close to my brother when I do his doing. There you go. Okay, so this pan is ready. Let's get the olive oil on here. Lots of olive oil. Lots and lots of olive oil. Get a good amount in here. I can finally get rid of my old one. It was ripping. All right, let's get this stuff in. You hear that shizzle? You hear that shizzle? That means... That means we can tell that... The pan is ready. You can cook. Ooh, step of that stuff. Let's season up a little bit. A little bit of pepper. It's like, don't trip. And it. a little bit of salt. You want to be safe. There we go. Got that going. Mmm. Smell that working? Like, All right. You have a safety first in the kitchen. Now, I don't know why they gave you this little cap on this thing when this is star of, the star of a knees. And, I don't know, here's the cap with the holes, and here's what's in the bottom. Oh, I, I don't why. think they're going to fit through there. So, we're going to drop those in. Okay. You want to get some of these cardamom, they call them pods, but seeds. Now, you want to take those. And you want to kind of kind of crack them with your knife. A couple crack, couple crack there. There, and get these into there. No, wait, wait. All right, let's get this beautiful pork. Stop. 
two side down. Let it start to do its thing. Where'd my towel go? Can you throw my towel, beautiful camel lady? Ooh, stepping on all kinds of things I got on the floor. I'm making a mess. Alright. Dropping a few bay leaves here. Now I want to get a couple of these cardamom pods because I want to get the seeds out of the center. And they pop like a, like a pop rock. They pop like your, like on a, like... Actually, you know what? I'm going to cheat here. I think I got some cardamom over here. Yes, I do. Some ground cardamom. So I'm going to wipe this here in a minute. So we're going to let that start to go. Let's dump in our wine. Why not? Break the rules a little. Put a little bit on the meat. Gordon Ramsay didn't break the rules, so. Break I, the rules anyhow. I break the rules. I'm a rule breaker. Right? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to let this alcohol cook off here, everybody. Pan's getting nice and, it's nice and hot. Man, I'll tell you what, I've never made this dish before, never had it before, but the smell, mm, oh my god, folks, it, oh, wait a minute, okay, see, the beautiful camel is handing me a wine glass, see, she wanted wine, you gotta open the wine, she's getting the wine, okay, so, Alright, so let's take this pork belly. That's a little warm. Don't touch it! I tried. I tried to do it the quick and easy way. Gordon Ramsay, you song. Yeah, well, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I'm better. Alright, now the key on this is... It's because Gordon Ramsay's smart. <laughs> yeah. It's like... You guys lock it up and just grab it. Yeah, he's just got to stop being such a buttercup and suck it up and do it. So we're going to take all this cardamom, ground cardamom I got. We're going to sprinkle this on. Oh, ground cardamom. That's okay. great. And then we'll take some of the, the seed pods here and we'll also put those on. Okay. Wait till I'm plugging my old charger and plug in the new one. <laughs> we'll just put a couple on here like that. Okay? Now, final step. It's perfect. I don't have to put it on the windowsill. I think all the alcohol is cooked off. So, we're going to start dumping this in and we're just going to fill it up. So it comes up and covers up. The meat that covers it you want to leave the skin exposed so that will roast off nicely and that's how you make uh, chicken noodle soup with that now what we're going to do is we got to let this come back to a boil okay when it gets back to a boil when it gets back up to a boil here we'll pop it into the oven Okay, it's almost there, so we'll pop that into the oven for two and a half hours after 306 degrees. That top skin layer will get nice and roasted and beautiful. The meat underneath, being in the wine and the stock, will braise. It will be super tender, but that top, later on when we go to do it, turn that volume up. And you will hear that crackle when we cut into it. So hopefully this will come out perfect and be super super delicious but the good thing is that there's a fat layer between the skin and the meat as this is cooking all that fat is going to start melting it will be soaking through the meat and then i'll show you the next step where we pull it out is the sauce that you make for it we got a nice uh stone ground mustard over there to use to do that sauce just about at the boil folks where did i put oh there they are safety first 
Don't forget to offer them safety first. Safety first, that's right. All right, so this has come to back to just about a complete boil. That's what the thumbnail says, safety first. All right, so here we go. Going in the oven, 360 degrees for two and a half hours, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see how it comes all out here in a little bit. Stay with us. We'll be right back with you. Hey, everybody, we're back. We're getting ready to pull this roasted pork belly yep. out of the Here oven. Can you smell it? The whole house for this past two hours has smelled so good. Are we ready? Yeah. The skin looks very crispy. It is all thanks to our right. friend Gordon Ramsay. And Skittles is right here. So this is was a video he saw from Gordon Ramsay, the uh, English chef guy there. Okay, so let's just wave that. Oh. oh, God, yeah. Hmm, can you see that? No, no. Look at that. Ooh, does that look good? It smells. If you have your smell vision, make sure you turn it on. Smell of vision is important. So let's take one of these over. Because i got to turn this front burner on to make the gravy. Oh, beautiful camera lady, can you grab me a slice of bread? So I'm going to take both of these over and put it on. But, if you remember what I said, I said to turn up your volume way up here in a minute. I'm going to tell you exactly when, so that you can hear us caught in the this. Was it just fried bread, like Gordon Ramsay said? Yes. So I'm going to knock off this extra seasoning here, all these cardamom seeds. But listen, can you hear the knife? Beautiful Kimo, can you, can you pan in on that meat and just the knife going across it? Yeah, let's just knock off the cardamom seeds. Why is the oven still on? Ah, it's okay. We, here, we'll turn it off now. Cancel. There it is. Alright, so there is this beautiful, listen. Can you hear that? That's that roasted pork skin. Just beautiful. Okay? So I'm going to give... Actually, you know what? I'm going to let it rest for a minute. I'm going to get the sauce done. Uh, did you have that slice of bread for me? Right there. Oh, by right the sink. there. Let's see if this works. So you take this bread and go to Ramsey's shoulder. This is how to pull off the excess fat. You just drag it across, back and forth. Nice and easy, and this absorbs the fat. And that's how you make fried bread. And then if you really wanted to, you could take this and make a pan fried bread out of it, okay? But there's that. Where did I put that? Oh, mustard's right in front of me. So I got a nice stone ground mustard. <laughs> now, everybody, anybody who knows me, knows I hate mustard, but the sauce was too good not to do the proper uh -huh. way, okay? Now the guru loves mustard, so you take a big Sometimes towel of this, and you drop it in, and a big towel up there, and you drop that in, okay? I think I'm trying some of that and we're going to take later. this, and we're going to whisk this around in here. I think I'll try a little of that mustard later. And apparently, this makes a phenomenal sauce, according to Gordon Ramsay. And I'm thinking, like, so that I'm going to just stir this up for just a second, and then I'm going to cut that meat so you can hear that crackle. Oh okay, yeah, I'm going to turn this heat off now. I on this have sauce. A case of you want to taste it. I'm going to put that over there. Can I smell that um, here, I'm not going to use the bread, but you could take, look at this bread, it's got absorbed all that fat in there. You could take this and pan fry this, and it would be a great traditional English um, bread. So we have all the cardamom seeds that we scraped off there. Really you can see all those fennel seeds. So let's take it, this. I really got to smell that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at that. Skin just crackle off of there. Wow, that skin is super crispy. Oh my god, look at that meat. That looks so tender and good. That nice fat there, some of it cooked down. 
Ooh, I think this is gonna be really, really good. You know that mug is like Dijon mustard. Yep. And then we got the sauce over here. So we're gonna just take the sauce and we're gonna just pour it through a strainer into um, a bowl. So we can have the sauce to pour the meat. You know what we're making with it? We're making a nice creamy Parmesan risotto. That's actually what's in here finishing up cooking. And is the risotto. I think I tried some of that ground must that ground stone mustard. So, there you have it. That is the roasted pork belly with fresh fennel. Oh, Turn so this way later. so we can see the guru and I. Right? I can't so, wait to smell that mustard later. You want you want you want to smell it now? Yeah, smell this mustard. And he's a mustard con o soul. I'm gonna have that on some bread. So now I'm very proud of you. You've been researching all these different things to try, and you found this. And you know what? I'm not a big pork guy, but this recipe looked too good not to try. So we tried it. It looked really good. I think we're going to really enjoy this. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. There you have it. So this has been Gordon Ramsay's roasted pork belly with fennel recipe we made here. You can see a non-experienced chef. You know, I cook a lot. I'm not a chef by any means, but I do a lot of cooking. I didn't get this belly not knowing how to cook a little bit. Like, but yeah, I am I no Gordon good. Ramsay. I am no Chef Robert Irvine. I'm no Bobby Flay. I'm none of those guys. But Bobby you know what? Flay. For this Bobby guy right Bobby. here, if he wants to try something, we are gonna do it 100%. And 100%. This well. looks so good. Do you want to try a little piece of this, there, Guru? It doesn't burn my tongue. Well, we're gonna take him. We're gonna go. Tell us how it is. Mm. I'm hearing a lot of mmm, and he's not talking. That means he's savoring it. How is it? Good. Do you want to try a little piece of the skin? Wow. That is super crispy, dude. It's like solid. How is that? It's like a, it's like a crunchy candy. Wow. Listen. Mmm. Is that good? You know what? I gotta try a little piece now. That just sounds <laughs> wicked good. Mm. Oh my god, it's so crunchy, dude. Mm. It's caught in my tooth. I don't even care though. It's that good. Wow, that's phenomenal. I'm going to shoot up this risotto a little bit. It's, it's definitely Gordon thickening Ramsey. up. Mm. And thank you, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, thank you, Gordon, Chef Gordon Ramsay. That was a great recipe. So, we really like, hope you like this episode. Hey, listen, I know we're not great, and sometimes we really rush through the videos, and we, we talk too much, but... If you want to try this recipe and you have any questions, don't hesitate. Send us your questions. We will be more than happy to answer. Oh, you got a text message already. Yay, people are telling me oh, how awesome. Some people are already saying yummy for what they've seen here. Because we have friends that we've been telling that we're making this. And they've say, telling us yummy. That's wicked awesome. So, but again, if you have any questions about this recipe, send it to us. Um, and uh, we'll let you know, you know, if you... Want it from the expert? Go on YouTube, Gordon Ramsay, Roasted Pork Belly. That's all you got to put in. It will pull right up on there. It will tell you everything. You can type it into you. You can Google it. It will tell you the exact recipe. But we hope this has helped out mm -hmm. and maybe inspired you to try something new. I mean, I never thought about doing it. Pork belly is what they make bacon out of. But doing it as a roast like this was so awesome. I can't wait to try the sauce with it. Wow. I mean, if it was that good without the sauce, 
the sauce is going to be that awesome. So, we hope you like this episode, right? I hope you tried the mustard I can eat. If you notice, he took his hat back for me. So you get to look at my yucky hair, but he wears his hat back, right? Because I steal his hats all the time. See, I'm stealing it. Going back. Look, you're alfalfa. So if you like this episode, don't forget to click that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet of him, the Goofy Wheelchair Guru, click that subscribe button. We will be doing all kinds of fun things. I mean, this shows you everything that a young disabled man like him and his brother can do. We work together. We definitely. What's most important to us? Ohana, right? Yeah, as, that's what Stitch as Stitch says. says from Leo and Stitch. We're Ohana, so we love doing stuff like this, and we do it for you. So we hope we inspire you to do. All the fun things. And then we're going to be heading out to the living room and out to dinner. Yes, we're going to sit in the living room together. All four of us. Me, the faithful sister, the beautiful kid lady mom, and the ever, I don't want to be on camera, shy brother Peter. And we're going to go and enjoy, hey, oh, and you know what? Miss Skittles and Mr. Meatball, our puppies. We're going to go out and enjoy this beautiful dinner with a risotto, a creamy parmesan risotto to go with mm -hmm. this beautiful roasted pork belly. So, hey, we thank you for tuning in here on the Goofy Wheelchair Guru Show. We hope, again, hope you liked this episode. If you did, click that like button, become a subscriber, don't miss any of the fun that he comes up with. I don't know what goes on through this mind right here, but it's a lot of fun. And I'll tell you what, he's coming up on 20 years. February will be his 20th birthday. And what an awesome 20 years it's been. A young man with Duchenne muscular dystrophy should not, was not supposed to live this long, but you know what? Here I am 30 years later. 20 years later. 30? Here I am 20 years later. 20 years later, he is, him and his brother, they inspire me and the beautiful cable lady to do everything we do. And we do it all for them. And yeah. whatever he comes up with, with for the show, we do, and we hope you enjoy it. And so, hey, we're going to head out now. We're going to head out now and enjoy this awesome dinner. We thank you for tuning in, and what? What are we going to say? And as always, see you next time here on the show. See you next time here on the Goofy Wheelchair Guru Show. Bye, everyone.